Let's start. Let's start. Let's start. Let's officially start. Okay, so here we go. His presence is like poetry. He is a fluid strand of dancing suggestions that ooze out of my trained lips in tainted hues of red that send my photograph head on abstract trips that contrast so appropriately with his icy blue atmosphere that coated me so densely I was certain it would stain. This juvenile takes his ultra-black paint can and sputta sputta sprays in snake-like movements across a brick wall that was never meant to be seen. Society likes to make us believe that everything is clean, but you know and I know that we are living in a dirty reality. I write so that every man, every woman, and every child, whoever so learns to read, can find something inside my work, regardless of whether they like it or not. I have no shame. My writing is myself. Can you say the same? Welcome to Finding My Voice at Pratt. My name's Tanya Van Cott. I'm a visiting professor here at Pratt. I created this program for you guys. I really wanted to see what sort of, I really wanted to see what was out there. And you guys have blown me away in the last year. <laughs> Pratt's a really an amazing place. You can see the talent oozing from all the different corners. Each and every one of these performers is here for a very different reason than what, what they're performing on stage. What they're doing on stage are their hobbies. The stuff that I really like to do is abstract and that's like what I, what I think of when I play guitar often. I've just always been into visual arts and writing, like poetry, they're all forms of expression. Art. Lots of art. So much art. So much art. I make art. I make art. We both make art. Oh my god. We don't make art together. Yeah, I don't know this guy. Interdisciplinary programs are hard to get started because in an institute where all the different disciplines are in their own corners, learning their own skill set, sometimes it's hard to get them back in the same room to work together. And when you create an after hours program where they can come back together with their peers and get to know each other and start to work together, you establish lifelong relationships that they will be able to lean on when they become professional designers and artists. All professions need to be able to communicate clearly. They're all original poems. I usually memorize them while I'm writing them, so like the first line will be repeated a million times. So I kind of know the poem from the beginning best to the end. Open mics are an opportunity for anybody to put themselves out there on the line, do something that they think they might be able to pull off, and immediately get an applause. Your peers are there in the audience supporting you. You're you know, putting yourself out there on the line. They're going to applaud that. I say words with my mouth, and hopefully people will laugh. I play songs on the, on the, on the banjo. I wrote the lyrics, uh, depending for some of them. Uh, when I play guitar, every single chord is a certain color. I don't know, I don't think that much when I play guitar, because, like, it's all about, like, Color, purely. And he has to think he, he can he stops. Screw you. We originally designed it, uh, and it, it has been an experimental program. With me is a photographer and an artist who's helping photograph the show, our first show in spring 2012. Hello, I'm filming this. You, you did the art today for our backdrop, and that. Um, was a pretty big deal because I did put a call out to the entire school for art to be produced and you raised your hand. Uh, Arturo! Arturo um, requires uh, an extra uh, round of applause. Arturo has been volunteering and coming out and photographing you guys. But anyway, Arturo is going to perform for us as well. All of these 
silent participants. All of these really talented students are involved in, in the behind the scenes of the program. And it's that aspect of this type of interdisciplinary program that is profound, especially here at Pratt, because what I'm able to do is utilize the different departments and the different talent that I have at my fingertips to orchestrate uh, uh, an overall event. This, this program and the documentation of this program uh, highlights mostly students. Now this program is really not designed only for uh, students. I'm trying to bring the entire campus together so it's opened up to staff and faculty and by birth, by birth Dupree is part of our faculty here. We've opened it up in such a way to say that the entire Pratt community is welcome. And an open mic is not really only about performing music or reading your poetry, but it's an open mic. You have five minutes to do or say anything. I do believe that we are a very interesting social creature and quite needy of applause. And an open mic environment is instant gratification. It's the courage part that's really being applauded. Getting up here is, uh, is kind of about courage. And as artists and designers, some of you might say, well, why do, I, why do I need courage in my profession? Because I'm gonna be painting and it's gonna be hanging in a gallery and I don't really need to speak. But that's not true because you all are the leaders, really, coming out of Pratt. You are going to be the future leaders of the art world and you'll be interviewed. Someone will put a mic in your face and they will ask you what your name is and why you do what you do. And if you can't clearly look at a camera and not like stutter and freak out, it's gonna help you to start practicing that right now. Because you'll, you'll all be like flying and soaring through your 20s and doing awesome stuff. Because this is a really great place. Well, that's a wrap. Good luck, good luck next year. Surprise.